All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Ho Chi Minh City, uh, Vietnam with ISA webinar. We are really excited to have you all join us today. I know we have a handful of university advisors in attendance, as well as some students who are interested in studying abroad in Vietnam. So we're really excited to share this information with you. Today, the two of us will be presenting on one of our newest additions to the ISA Study Abroad Program portfolio, which is our programs in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. We'll be covering some of the city and program highlights, as well as going over some specific program components, including academics, housing, and excursions. We'll also have some time for questions at the end of the presentation, so if you do think of any questions, feel free to type them in the comment box and we'll address them a little bit later on. So we wanted to start off this presentation by introducing ourselves. My name is Megan Schwartz and I am the site specialist for our Vietnam programs. I am originally from Boulder, Colorado, and I received my degree in global tourism from Colorado State University. I relocated to Austin, Texas in 2016 and have been with ISA since that time. I have experience traveling to multiple countries in Asia and Vietnam was really one of those countries that just completely captured my heart. So I'm really excited to be a part of the Ho Chi Minh City program here at ISA. As the site specialist, I handle certain aspects of the program, including housing, academics, visa support, and general life in Vietnam questions. Hello everyone, this is Kimi, and I'm the program manager here at ISA for Ho Chi Minh City program. And uh, I've been joining ISA for almost seven years and started as a set specialist for Asia and I'm program manager for Asia. I'm a native Chinese and graduated in China with a degree in teaching Chinese a foreign language. And then I received my master's degree at NYU in international education. As a program manager for this program, I work with students uh, pr primarily on missions, forms, deadlines, and payments. And I'm so excited to be here and to introduce our program to you all. All right, so you may be asking yourself, why choose Ho Chi Minh City as a study abroad destination? There are so many benefits and highlights to studying abroad in Ho Chi Minh City. Right now, it's one of the most rapidly developing places in the world, which makes it a really interesting and exciting time to study there. Even though Ho Chi Minh City is not the capital of Vietnam, that would be Hanoi, um, it is the most populous city in the country with over 9 million residents and it's continuing to grow. The city and Vietnam as a whole has a super long and fascinating history and without a doubt the best way to learn about the history of the country is to actually be over there. One of the things that makes Ho Chi Minh City so unique is that it truly is the best of both worlds. There is such an eclectic and interesting mix of traditional and modern, old and new, expensive and affordable. Students studying in Ho Chi Minh City are going to find a huge modern building and skyscrapers um, located just right around the corner from old markets and ornate pagodas. And they're going to be exposed to so many different lifestyles um, as Ho Chi Minh City really has everything from, you know, fine dining to inexpensive street food premium shopping centers to affordable local markets and five-star hotels to funky local backpacker hostels and truly everything in between. As I'm sure you can tell by the population size, Ho Chi Minh City is a big city, which means that there's really plenty of big city activities to take advantage of. The city has easy access to amazing shopping, theaters, nightlife, museums, cultural activities, and restaurants, so we're confident that students will never have a reason to be bored while living in Vietnam. In addition, Ho Chi Minh City is a great base for any independent travel that students might want to do on the weekends or during their free time. If exploring other parts of Vietnam or nearby countries is a goal, then the central location and large international airport makes it much easier. The airport um, in the city makes it easy and affordable to fly to other Southeast Asian countries and between the buses, trains, planes, uh, etc., exploring all over Vietnam is convenient and really affordable as well. Now that we have gone over some of the many reasons why Ho Chi Minh City is an amazing study abroad location, we want to dive into some of the specific IC program highlights. So our students will have comprehensive advising and support before, during, and after their program. Myself and uh, Megan are full-time employees here in Austin who are dedicated to help students with all their pre-program needs from forms to payments, academic registrations, life abroad questions, visa support, and more. In addition, we have resident staff in Vietnam who are on-site and provide extra services and support, such as helping with academics, city life, adjusting to life abroad, housing, and general student care. 
downside staff, along with our team here in Austin, are here to assist students with every aspect of the study abroad experience. One of the reasons we're excited to be working with RMIT University of Vietnam is because their course offerings for our students is so amazing and it has over 100 courses taught in English and many of the courses are great for majors that can be traditionally hard to find abroad, such as fashion, design and technology. And a few other highlights include IC student housing as well as the amazing excursion list, but we'll get more in detailed information about those two items later in the presentation. All right, so let's talk about academics. As Kimmy mentioned, students will be studying at RMIT University Vietnam while they're in um, Ho Chi Minh City. We're really excited to be working with RMIT, which is an Australian-based private university operating in Vietnam. The academic staff employed at RMIT University work in tandem with the academic staff from RMIT in Melbourne, Australia, in order to facilitate the customization of material that's presented in Australia for delivery in Ho Chi Minh City. As mentioned, the university offers over 100 courses that are taught in English, and the school is particularly known for their robust academic offerings in technology, design, business, management, economics, fashion, and engineering. The South Saigon campus is located just seven kilometers from the city center and has academic facilities, sporting fields, a health clinic, the campus library, food and beverage spots, a theater, and a rec center. ISA students will have the opportunity to get involved with the school by joining a wide variety of student clubs and organizations, and they'll also have the chance to participate in the school's buddy program. So let's talk a, a little bit more about our specific programs. So ISA offers both semester and summer term programs. Our spring one, fall one, and summer one programs is called Business, Communications, Design, Fashion, and Technology. And the spring programs typically run from mid-February to early June. And for the fall program, it's mid-October to late January. And the summer one program is from late June to late uh, September. And uh, um, one thing to keep in mind is that even though the summer one program is during the summer, the program length, course offerings, and format are similar to the spring and fall programs. Courses are offered in many subjects, including business, design technology, communications, fashion, econ, finance, and engineering. During those sessions, students usually take four courses, which IC recommends at 12 U.S. semester credits. Courses will be instructed by the RMIT university professors, and the classmates will include local students, as well as international students and other IC students. We also have a more short-term summer program option. Our summer two program fashion, photography, art, and business is a four-week program that takes place in June and July. Students on this program enroll in one course that focuses on fashion, photography, art, or business, and their classmates will be international and other IIT students. RMIT does have a few eligibility requirements for all their programs. Students should have a GPA of at least 2.5, and they should have completed at least one full year of studies at their home university by the time they participate in these programs. ISA students studying in Ho Chi Minh City will be having the opportunity to live in the ISA student apartments, which are located only a 15 minute walk from the RMIT campus. The apartments are very modern, they are double occupancy, and they have lofted beds with living spaces underneath. The rooms include bedding and a cleaning service, and there are laundry facilities inside the building as well. In addition, the apartment building has a cafe on the fourth floor that serves traditional items like Vietnamese egg coffee or Vietnamese coffee, as well as snacks and has a lovely terrace um, that students can hang out or study at. The ground floor of the building has a co-op grocery store and a frozen yogurt shop, and there's a small gym in the building as well. One of the great things about studying abroad with ISA is all the amazing experiences that the students get to have outside of the classroom. We are really excited about all of our amazing excursions on our Ho Chi Minh City program. The exact excursions that students will go on does depend if you're on a semester or summer program, so make sure you reference our website or reach out to us if you have any questions. The ISA excursions in Vietnam uh, truly allow students to travel all over the country, including to Hanoi and Ha Long Bay in the north, 
Hoi An and My Son in Central Vietnam, and the Mekong Delta in the South. In addition, the semester and summer one students have the chance to go on an optional excursion to visit Angkor Wat in Cambodia. All of the excursions and cultural activities we offer are presented in a way that helps to facilitate learning outside of the classroom, so we try and incorporate aspects of our ISA discovery model in order to make the excursions not only fun, but ultimately they'll help students gain a deeper understanding of the culture and the history of Southeast Asia, with the ultimate goal of strengthening our students' relationships with their host country. All of our Ho Chi Minh City program application deadlines are listed on our website, but we just want to include some of the information here so that you have an idea of what the timeline might look, uh, look like. Our Summer 1 application deadline has just recently passed, and our Summer 2 deadline are approaching on April 25th. And our fall are also accepting applications on July 1st, and for students who are interested in Supreme, program for 2019 and they can um, submit their applications through November 1st. All right, well that wraps up everything we've aimed to talk to you about today. Um, we'd love to go ahead and open it up to questions that any of you might have. So if you do have a question, there's a chat box available where you can type in your question and as they come in, we'll try and answer everything. Okay, here's the one. Um, what are the application materials for Fall 1 program? Great question. And so we have all the information listed on the ISA website and under Vietnam and Ho Chi Minh City program. But I want to do, I do want to talk a little bit about that here. And so we have standard ISA supplement page that needs to be signed off by a study broad advisor at the home university as well as the official transcript. But in addition to that, we also require to have a passport copy uh, for the application materials for the purpose of a visa. And uh, because we need to request the visa documents from the host university, and we do want to give student enough time uh, to apply for the visa, to go through the visa process. So that's very important for students to have a passport uh, while they're, uh, when they apply for the program. And so I always tell students, please, please, when they're, in, when they're already interested in the program, and I tell them, please start, if you don't have a passport, start an application. If your passport needs to be renewed, please do so uh, before, even before the program application. So that's why it's very important to have that, um, to keep that in mind. And so uh, also, as mentioned in the, in the presentation, the GPA requirement is 2.5 and, um, and that's pretty much it. So once student complete all the app materials, I will be able to review the application and hopefully accept students in two to three business days. And, and that's the application process. And once the application is accepted, we also, we're, we're, we're gonna move on to the um, post acceptance um, forms and the payment information. And I will, work, I will work with all the students to just get all the, all the preparation done and all the forms completed and help them with financial aid or scholarship uh, if they have any questions. All right, we had another question come in while Kimmy was um, telling about the application materials asking about uh, just student safety in Ho Chi Minh City. Um, that's definitely a great question. Like, you know, any other foreign city, uh, students are going to really want to exercise caution. The top concerns are going to be more like pickpocketing and theft as opposed to the more violent crimes that we might see here in the U.S. It's always important to be aware of your belongings. Uh, don't leave your bag or purse alone on a table. Ladies, make sure you wear crossbody bags. And of course, if you go out at night, make sure you stay in a group and with your friends. Um, kind of the same process that you would have in any big US city. When you arrive on site in Ho Chi Minh City, our, all of our students go through the ISA Bridging Cultures program, which is a comprehensive on-site orientation. And during that, a uh, ton of information about safety in the city is going to be given. It's also good to know that ISA has a 24-hour on-call U.S.-based staff member at all times, and the ISA Ho Chi Minh City on-site staff will also be on call at all times. So if any emergencies do occur, um, our students will have assistance from ISA. All right, great. Well, thank you again for everyone who attended. It looks like we don't have any other questions at this point. 
We love sharing this information about this new program, um, so we really appreciate you joining us today. Uh, Kimmy and I both love talking about Vietnam, so if you ever have any questions about the program, please don't hesitate to reach out. After this presentation, I will definitely be following up with a link to a recording of this webinar. And of course, if any other questions do come up, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Our email addresses are on the screen. Thank you so much.